Visit the looping flow drill we did last week. Uh, in this case, in this video, we're going to look at two ways to exit the loop. So the loop goes over and over and over and over. Uh, two ways to break the, the, the loop and to exit with the takedown and a submission of some type. Okay, so uh, we'll just loop a couple times here. So I grab Alex's throat, right? I'm going to obtain wrist control here. Comes behind the back, he spins over that. He blocks, we get an over under, he does the same thing to me. I pull it off my neck, he gets wrist control, gets my arm behind my back, I loop right back, I let him exit from here. Now, instead of allowing the loop to continue, what we're gonna do is this hand, when I swim up and get the, the grab of the throat, I don't want to give him time to get this hand on the wrist and pull away. So this is a, a window of opportunity here. So once I get that arm up, I'm gonna give him a squeeze. I'm going to get sticky, I'm going to take a little step forward. I want to squeeze and push, right? I want that posture going back. Once that happens, posture goes back, I stay with him, and I'm going to do a sotagiri, Funakoshi call it Byobadoshi, to uh, those folding screens, the top of the folding screen. Leg becomes, comes behind here, we do a reaping throw, right? So squeeze and push, hug that arm, right? Come to the floor. From here, you can do another submission. You want to use this overhook we already have here, this has to be above the elbow, so I'm going to get that deep, like so. You have a couple choices here. You can leave this on the throat, and we've got three, three points of contact here. I still have pressure here. I've got a knee right on the ribs. This shoots, gets my arm, all right, and we're going to wave bye-bye with two wrists and posture up. So that will give me my, uh, my shoulder, my elbow lock, okay? So doing this, we'll get the lock. Right, posturing up, look at the lock. Couple that with the knee and the ribs. I'm being nice right here, a little bit higher on the floating ribs is worse. Squeeze on the neck. Or another option is just a bit stronger on the shoulder. Alex is starting to spin at the shoulder lock. So from here, I got the throat, right? One, two, three. There's a wind of opportunity here where I have to apply it. I get this up here, spin around, get my key lock again, grab there, lock. As he's starting to spin, right about now is where I want to start reversing this. So I'm going to take this iron position, start twisting the other way, and step behind his leg. So as he starts to posture up, Timing's important, but I don't want to beat a punch in the head. Reverse this here, spin, and go to the ground. Okay? I don't have to change my grip a whole lot. From here, I got that. Slide this down a little bit on the wrist. Even better if you can get it across these knuckles. I want the wrist bent, and I want the fingers bent. There's all kinds of muscles that run down the, the back of the forearm, and when you flex the wrist and flex the fingers, they get stretched, causes pain. I already have this grip. Slide that down a little bit. Pull the elbow up in the chest and cause this, this wrist and these knuckles to bend. Knee ride. I'll get a submission here. And this is a uh, Jujuki. You find this a lot of tacos. Uh, Gangaku. 